Hi everyone, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. We're going to be taking a look at advice for the week, whatever your angel guides, spirit guides want to be able to share with you for the remainder of this week. So let's take a look and see what presents itself from these three decks that I was drawn to. The very first one is by Sister Moon Tarot, Stay Inspired Oracle Cards, Mystic Moons, Signs from Spirit, Love Oracle, and lastly, this one's my own self-created one, the Heart and Soul Love Oracle deck. All right, so let's take a look at that and see what it is that you need to know for the next few days. General as always, so please keep that in mind for this reading and take from it what makes sense for you, release the rest. All right, let's go ahead and start and see what it is that you need to know. Angels and spirit guides, please, for the collective, what's the advice for the upcoming week? Whether that's related to love, career, health, whatever it is. Let's see what your angel guides want to bring forward here. Free yourself. Okay, so if you're feeling that there is a situation that's holding you back from living your best life, whether it is a romantic partnership that just isn't going anywhere, or it could be a dead-end job, it could be so many different types of scenarios where you know it's a done deal, it's time to go. The message here does say this is your life. Don't live it restricted by your past or the opinions of others. It's time to write a new story. So if you relate to this for this week, maybe this is something that you've been dealing with for a very long time, or that could be something that you have been addressing or wanting to address this year. Maybe it's time before the end of this year. Maybe it's time to free yourself. Let's grab a couple more cards from here. Advice for the week for the collective. And then we'll clarify with tarot, of course independent you never needed anyone else to define you or make you worthy if you have to go at it alone you can do this you are your own best friend your own hero your own warrior i love actually how these two cards are right next to each other oh my goodness and then the third message spirit is speaking very loudly here today guys labels labels are limiting and unnecessary they are food for the ego, but not the soul. So free yourself as well from whatever those labels are, whether someone has labeled you or you tend to label people. It could go one of two ways. So let's go ahead and clarify and see what presents itself here with tarot. I'm going to pull from my Luna tarot deck here. Advice for the week, for the collective. Angels and spirit guides, please. So you're meant to be a free spirit. You're meant to be independent. So those cards actually go together for me. This is your life. Absolutely. So make it the best you can. You've got the page of cups right here. This can, as it says, be a love message from somebody. But it's interesting how it's right next to free yourself. So if this person, for example, if they weren't treating you right, if they said very hurtful things, if they've labeled you and put you in some sort of category that you know you don't belong, then, you know, maybe it's time to have that discussion with this individual and just tell them how you're feeling or just get things off your chest, whatever it is that you need to say. If you feel that it's really time to distance yourself and, as it says, write a new story, maybe even through communication, it's time to speak up and just let them know. It's like, you know what? We need to go our separate ways. It's just not working out for me. I'm also getting for the collective that if you've already gotten yourself out of, for example, a partnership that was not happening for you. You were no longer fulfilled by this person. They didn't make you happy. There could have been some challenges in the partnership. By freeing yourself and being independent and just enjoying your own company and being single for a good minute, you might actually be able to find love again through this person. Okay, Page of Cups is actually a pretty positive card when it comes to love you know it's just it coming right next to free yourself i'm getting for some of you that you know who it is that you need to detach from 
for some of you guys, there could be this energy of young love, childhood sweethearts. You guys could have known each other for a very long time. You might have met in school. You could have grown up together. It could have been neighbors. So many references to that. But the Six of Cups is about the memories, you know, thinking about those happy memories that you guys have shared. And, you know, it's one thing to revisit the past and think about all of those amazing memories that you've shared with somebody, but you don't want to be stuck in the past either. So perhaps that's what that's referring itself to. It's time to free yourself from the past and focus more so on where you're at now and ultimately where you can end up in the future. Can this person be a part of that future? Because you have this Ace of Wands right here. This is a new beginning here for you. As you can see, it's about growth. And if somebody is preventing you from growing in your own life, then it's time to take it upon yourself to break free from those types of individuals and situations. That, I feel, is coming through for some of you this week. That's part of the advice. So it's not even worth it losing sleep over this person. If you've already detached, maybe this is their energy that they can't sleep, they're thinking about you, they want to reach out, they're thinking about the memories, feeling nostalgic. And then we've got this coming in for some of you, Ten of Cups. Beautiful, okay? So I'm getting a couple of things here for the week. By detaching and freeing yourself from situations where you really don't belong or you no longer want to be there, that paves the way for something amazing to come in, certainly when it comes to your partnerships. I mean, look how beautiful with the Ten of Cups. This is a wonderful, amazing relationship that has the capability of making you really happy. A new beginning. And there are also people that you need to be mindful of this week that are just going to put you in this type of situation where there's just way too many conflicts, you know, disagreements, arguments. They could also be a very confrontational individual. So break free from people like that this week. And then we've got the Ace of Pentacles. I love this, guys, because there's something here that you might just be able to manifest this week, whether it's more money, whether it's a new job, whether it's an opportunity to advance in your career, your vocation, your livelihood. It's got a lot to do with your pentacles. Okay, so these amazing opportunities that want to come your way. Now, when it comes to your relationships, Freeing yourself, that's huge because an Ace of Pentacles moment is going to allow you to have this new beginning that really can propel your life forward very positively. This new beginning could even be an offer from somebody that can give you that Ten of Cups. And the only way that that was able to open up as an opportunity is because you made room for it, you know? So if you haven't made room for it yet, maybe this is the week to get that going. Love it. Amazing. Amazing. All right. So let's go ahead and see what else your spirit guides need to share. I'm going to pull from the Signs from Spirit Love Oracle deck here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for the collective. So what's your spirit guides advice for the week? Okay. We have Hammer, Force. And then we have umbrella shelter, okay? What I'm already getting from this is nobody can ever force you to do something that you do not want to do. And this, I feel, could just be you protecting yourself from people that don't mean you well, you know? There could also be particular situations that have come to an end. This kind of reminds me of the death card energy in tarot. So it paves the way for new beginnings because something needed to come to an end. And sometimes those endings are very painful. So if you need time to focus on you, your growth, your healing, or you just need quiet time to be on your own, then honor that this week. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some tarot. I'm going to pull from my Illuminated Star Volume 2. Angels and spirit guides, please, for the collective. All right, so let's see here. What else do you need to know?
judgment, okay? So this, to me, represents a wake-up call. Either this is your week to get that wake-up call, or it's the, the person that you are thinking about. I feel there is somebody here definitely feeling very nostalgic about you. That we've already seen they're focused on the memories of the past and wanting perhaps to be a part of your life again, to come back, to have a reunion. This could be where they're at, you know, just wanting to apologize for their past actions, seeing and reflecting on how they were with you before, wanting forgiveness. But, you know, they cannot ever for force you to forgive them or an accept, or accept, if I can talk today, accept an apology if that's just not where you're at in your heart. Okay, so you just got to follow how you're feeling this week. But I do feel you might hear from somebody from your past or somebody that you're in separation from. They're thinking about you. I kind of feel for you guys this week. You're just focusing on you, your journey, your life, your growth, your healing, what is tapped into your passions. This is you working on you this week. Okay, and then you've got the star. So the star is paving the way for you to move forward, giving you that illuminated path for you to follow, to break free again, as we've already seen, and to heal from experiences, people that have hurt you, whatever this morning energy is, something ended for a reason, you know, and it's time for you to really focus on yourself is what I'm getting this week. And if you've lost hope in yourself in a situation, know that there is something that's coming in for you that will uplift that energy. That looks pretty promising to me for the week, for the collective. Okay, so let's move on and let's grab some insight from my heart and soul love oracle deck here. What else do you need to know for the week? Whether it's related to your relationships your romantic partnerships or something else let's take a look at that we have breathe i was drowning my sorrows before you came into my life i didn't think i would ever be able to come up for air again a broken heart can slowly kill you if you let it thank you for rescuing me for helping me to finally exhale that could go one of two ways either this is someone expressing themselves to you in this way or this is how you're feeling connecting with somebody that allows you to just breathe and take it all in. Somebody who's a breath of fresh air after having experienced something challenging in your partnerships. For those of you who are at a distance, okay, this one's coming through. This one says reach. What I would give to be able to reach out and touch you again. A tangible piece of you that I had the pleasure of knowing once. I will forever reach out for you and maybe someday our hands, our hearts will meet again. There's something about this card that I wanted to discuss because when I created it, there's actually a word here that was used incorrectly because what I meant to say is a tangible piece, P-I-E-C-E. -E. But when I went back to review the deck, I didn't realize that I had actually put the word piece, P-E-A-C-E. -E. And so I left it because to me, that makes sense, that you represent the peace in someone's life. You represent the peace in their heart. Everything just falls into place when you're in their life. And when you're not, everything just goes to hell for this person. That is what I feel, that everything just falls apart when you're not a part of their presence. And they want nothing more than to reach out to you, to restore that peace in their heart, in their life. So I left that alone because I felt that it was just meant to be the way that played itself out. Let's grab one more message here for the collective, and then we'll clarify these cards with tarot. Advice for the week. Angels and spirit guides, please, for whoever needs this advice. We have words, okay? The little button there says you are loved. Life can be harsh, love even harsher. Words pack a punch, and sometimes it breaks skin. We start to believe those painful, awful, hurtful words, and eventually convince ourselves that it's true. You are more than those words. The right love simply needs to remind you of that. How fitting is this? Because I really do feel that the free yourself card came through for a reason, because you guys have to disconnect from people 
who haven't treated you right, who can't even talk to you civilly. They, as it says, can say things very harshly. They could be a very cold individual, emotionless, you know, and so these are people that you need to free yourself from because they just have the capability, I feel, to hurt you. And if you've already done that, good for you. But I'm also getting here that those very people that you've disconnected from are the same ones who want to reach out because they want to apologize. They've had perhaps a light bulb moment to realize they screwed up, whatever the reason is. It's up to you what you do with that, whether you accept them back in, whether you even want to entertain a conversation with them or hear from them. Remember, nobody can ever force you to do anything that you do not want to do. Okay, so that's a part of the advice this week. So let's go ahead and clarify here. I'm going to pull from my tarot teacher deck this time. Angels and spirit guides, please, for whoever needs these messages, entering into the first half or the first week of November. What is the advice? What is the advice? The emperor. So we've got a masculine coming in as this emperor. For some of you guys, this could represent a masculine who could be a new love or a masculine that you're currently with at this point in time. Somebody who really has come into your life to help you breathe again. As I've mentioned, you know, they're like a breath of fresh air. This is somebody unlike anyone else perhaps that you've ever met. This could ultimately be the father of your children or they could already have children from previous relationships. But this is somebody who really has the capability, a masculine who can love you the way perhaps another relationship or even an ex could not love you. Okay, let's go ahead and see what else here. This card makes sense for me with that five of pentacles. Someone's definitely feeling very insecure because you're not a part of their life. So this represents the breakup and the struggles that they have been through since you guys went into separation. It could have also been you who left them out in the cold. They want so badly to be able to reach out. Wow. Fives representing adversity in tarot, you know? And then we've got life can be harsh with these words, right? So this is telling me that you walked away from this person. If you haven't already, it's time to do that because this can also represent other people that they might be saying these harsh words to or not even treating them right. This could also be somebody who is someone that you can't trust. They're sneaking around. There's conflict and competition here. This could also be a person who tends to be a bit of a bully, which makes sense with those harsh words. But that is not where you're meant to be. That is not where you're meant to stay. This is where you're meant to go towards that energy of the sun where you can find fulfillment and happiness in your life. I absolutely love, love, love how spirit is coming through today. Look at the next card. We've got the Empress. I could not have planned this any better because we have a masculine and a feminine who are evenly matched up. You guys might ultimately have a really strong chemistry and bond between the two of you. This is the person who might ultimately represent your ideal mate in this lifetime. And you know who it is that you need to let go of. You know who it is that you need to free yourself from. That is the advice for the week, guys. That is the person that you need to detach from if you haven't already. All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave this one. I do hope whatever came through here offers you advice that you could use for the upcoming days. And remember, you're meant to be in this energy of the sun. So go ahead and find that happiness this week. I'll see you guys real soon. Take care.